Hello, in this tutorial will explain how to install the Wowza Integrated Development Environment as well as a recent copy of Eclipse. To begin, go to the eclipse.org website slant downloads and download a recent version of Eclipse IDE for Java developers, in my case Windows 64-bit. With Eclipse downloaded, go ahead and open the Eclipse uh, file. Inside you'll find the um, actual Eclipse files. Eclipse does not come with an installer. However, to follow the generally accepted Windows practice, I usually create a folder called Eclipse inside my program fi files folder and then extract the contents of the Eclipse zip file into that folder, essentially simulating uh, an Eclipse installation. Once the files are in, you're going to want to be able to access Eclipse from the start menu and from the taskbar. You can right click on the Eclipse icon launcher and then click pin to start menu and pin to taskbar in order to get convenient launch icons for Eclipse. The most obvious way to install the Wowza IDE is to go to wowzamediacom slant IDE.html and download the installation file. However, that's not going to be the easiest way to maintain it in the long term. Here's the installation file. Instead, go ahead and start up Eclipse, and we will use the fact that Wowza thoughtfully provides a uh, Eclipse software repository to install uh, the Wowza IDE in a way that allows us to easily update it in the future. So go ahead and create a workspace for Wowza and start up Eclipse. Go back to the Wowza Media Systems website and copy this URL here, which is the URL of the Eclipse update repository. In Eclipse, click on Help, Install New Software, and you'll be able to see a list of available software update sites. Click Add, type a name like Wowza, and copy in the URL. After clicking OK, you'll see the Wowza IDE is available for install in just a moment. You go ahead and select it, click Next, Accept the license agreements after reading them and let the software install. It will warn you that the content is unsigned as are many Eclipse plugins. Uh, if you're comfortable with it, just click OK to continue installing. Finally, hit Restart Now to restart Eclipse and uh, have it restarted with the uh, Wowza IDE installed. And that's all you need to do to install the Wowza IDE and Eclipse.